ask you this. What does prime mean? I, I mean, just for people who don't know, because okay. sometimes I'm a little confused on it myself. Prime is, is the money that uh, the Federal Reserve loans other banks in order to lend money. Uh, and you can, I believe, uh, uh, the prime now is about two and three quarters. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, that is what the, the federal bank is lending money at. Uh, usually the banks will put two or three percent on that to become the prime rate, and then they will loan it at one percent over the prime. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, one percent over the prime is, uh, for instance, if the prime rate is at five percent and the bank will loan you at one point or one and a half point over that prime rate, then what you're actually getting your loan for is 1.5. Okay. Or 6.5, I'm sorry. All right. Um, one more time, and we're not going to get too much into the numbers, because I know mm -hmm. people go, oh, it's very, but we need to know it. Yeah. And I'm glad you are taking the time to explain it, so thank you. Mr. Payne, you are a smart man. No, not too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one more time. What uh -huh. is the prime rate, and, and um, how does that whole thing work again? Well, the prime rate is the rate that banks can lend money. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, and as the prime rate goes down, then the banks can lend money at a lower rate. Okay. Okay. If the prime. To loan to other people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the prime rate, and that's that's the best customer rate that you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on your credit score mm -hmm. and depending on your income, uh, then you'll get a lower rate than other people will. Okay. If you have a high credit score, you'll get prime plus one or prime plus a half mm -hmm. or prime prime plus one and a half or so two. So they actually give you benefit. Yeah, they give you the right. benefit if you're going to mm -hmm. be a good lender or a good borrower. Right. So, on paper. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. and uh, that's something mm -hmm. that everybody should be working on too is their, is is their, their, credit. their credit score. And I think most people do. Um, I, you know, we did a show with uh, Knight Kippinger and Steve Forbes, and they talked about credit and mm -hmm. you know why credit is important, and, and we really need to do that again. Hopefully, maybe you'll come back and talk to us about. Well, credit I'm not an expert in, in finance or credit. I'm I'm real the estate. Uh, real estate yeah, real investor. Estate guru. Um, uh -huh. But you have some, you bring up some good points, yeah. and you share some some definitely needed information that is valuable. So I don't know, you might be able to fit in there somewhere. Okay. Let's talk about tax sale. Tax sale. Well, that's not one of the areas that I'm very uh, interested in. With the ground in. rents. What about the ground rents? Do you know huh? anything about ground rents? Yeah, ground rents uh, back in the days when uh, the... Uh, <laughs> people were paying for their land. Yeah, people were, people were renting the land, and uh, mm -hmm. the owners of the land were charging them a ground rent. So uh, a lot of properties in Baltimore and Baltimore County have ground rents. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a minimal amount, and there uh, <clears throat> you can when you purchase a house, you can purchase the ground rent. You don't have to uh, right. keep paying the ground rent. The city right? owns the, the a ground. A lot of people buy a lot of ground rents. It's not a great way to make money because you're making like thirty-five dollars a, a year on the ground rent, which is not a much. Maybe sixty dollars on the ground rent mm -hmm. uh, per year, but it is attached to the land that you're buying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you buy a property, you can if, if it's fee simple, that means it has no ground rent. Fee simple. Fee means simple no means ground no ground rent. Mm -hmm. If it has a ground rent, then there's a way that they, if you want to buy it, there's a way that you can calculate the mm -hmm. price and you can get rid of the ground rent now and not have that anymore. Uh, it's difficult. Well, yeah, though. like how can people sell you ground? <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I just think yeah. that's the craziest thing. It's like selling me grass that I'm growing out of my own yard. I'm well, like, okay. it, it goes anyway. back. It goes. <laughs> yeah, it goes back to mm -hmm. when the princes owned the property. It was an old law. On the yeah, books. a very, very old mm -hmm. law, and uh, uh, it's not. It's not anything that is is a real problem here mm -hmm. as far as investing. Mm -hmm. Mr. Payne, my pleasure talking to you. Uh, is there any last thoughts or closing thoughts you'd like to share with people about yourself and or your real estate and what you're doing now? Uh, well, I do a lot of things now. Uh, I'm still I'm looking for uh, properties to add to my inventory mm -hmm. as rental properties. And as I mentioned, I'm doing subdivision now down in Virginia, and that's exciting. What is I've subdivision? Never, well, we've uh, we have uh, got an 84 acre parcel of land down there that we have subdivided 22 acres off. My nephew owns the land, mm -hmm. so we subdivided. 
22 acres, and in, what we're doing is we're putting in 14 residential units. Now, so subdivide means you split the land up? Yeah, you split the land okay. up. Not all properties can be subdivided, but mm -hmm. a lot of them can. Mm -hmm. And that, you're going to have to go down to zoning and planning, and you're going to have to do a lot of research to find out whether a property can be subdivided, okay. because it's all zoned it either can be or can't. Mm -hmm. uh, like rural preservation or rural conservation land is farmland and it can't be subdivided okay. usually for any other it can't the zoning can't be changed okay. uh, we were able to get this agricultural land that we have down there rezoned to residential mm. and that it, it's costly it's costing us about uh, so far we're into it about hundred and sixty thousand dollars out of our own pocket mm. in order to get all the engineering the surveying and all the uh, requirements that we have to get through the county of, of uh, Charles County in Virginia but uh, we're now at the point where we've got f everything is done you have to have an initial plat a final plat and uh, then you have to get the final approval from the Board of Supervisors but we're right at that point now so mm -hmm. by this day next week we will start selling our properties Wow well that sounds great yeah. and, I really and it's believe taken you. us it's yeah. only taken us eight months to do this when it usually mm -hmm. takes two or three years well you know you deserve it if you have to do all of that just yeah. to get to where you are so there I you congratulate go. you on that well, thanks. If people would like to call you or contact you how would they do that is there a number you can give out yeah I have my my cell phone number sure. is, okay and sure. uh, I I help a lot of investors here in investors United I partner with them and jobs and mm -hmm. uh, I work with auction brokers a lot so uh, if they have deals and they need somebody who need has a little knowledge they can certainly call you and have a lot of knowledge yeah. <laughs> my All number right. is 410 mm -hmm. 271 mm -hmm. 5756 that's my cell number okay 410 410 271 5756 all right mr right. payne my pleasure oh thank okay, you thank you